Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of dilations, specifically how we can use these scale drawings to show proportionality, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So I've got a basic coordinate grid here, and just for ease of use, we'll do it in quadrant 1, so everything stays positive. And you see I have a right isosceles triangle on the grid right there. So let me just go ahead and plot these three points for us. So A is going to be an X of 9, Y of 9. B is going to be an X of 9, but that Y jumps up to 13. And then I've got C, that Y stays at 9, but my X jumps over to 13. So that's my basic triangle that we could plot back in the fifth grade. Now, what is a dilation? Dilation is a scaled drawing. So that means we need a scale factor. So what if we said the scale factor was, oh, let's make it kind of difficult. Let's make it three halves. All right, so if we do three halves, that means we need to take every single one of these points and we need to multiply it by three halves. Now, whether you want to multiply it by three halves whether you want to multiply by 1.5, it's your choice. But what we're going to do is we're going to plot another shape, and we're going to go ahead and let's call it DEF. And we're going to multiply everything by 3 halves, or 1.5. So let's see what that looks like. Now, thankfully, we actually landed on... We only need to do that to the numbers 13 and 9 because those are all our coordinates, 13 and 9. So let's multiply 13 by 3 halves. All right, so we're going to get our 39 over 2, but that's going to be 19.5. So I'll probably just use a 19.5. And then let's go ahead and do our 9 by 3 halves. That's going to be 27 over 1, so that's going to be 13.5. So we can actually take this and say, all right, so my 9 over 9 is now going to be scaled out to point D is going to be 13.5 as an X and a Y. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to find my point D. So 13.5 obviously is right there on the X axis. And it's right up here on the y-axis. And so it's actually not necessarily even going to be on a line. It's actually going to be between 13 and 14 for both the x and the y. So this is going to be my point D. So now I'm going to do my E. So remember my 9 turns into 13.5. And my 13 is going to turn into 19.5. So once again, it's not going to be on any of the lines. So I'm staying on my 13.5 on my X, but I'm almost off the chart here. So that's going to be my E right there. And then my F is going to, we're just going to kind of flip that. It's going to be 19.5 and then 13.5. So once again, almost off the chart be right there. There's my F. So what I did is I made a scaled drawing, and it's one and a half times larger than my ABC. So let me connect these dots right here. But it is similar because it is still an isosceles triangle. So if we wanted to make some proportions here, we can. We could say, well, the hypotenuse of the smaller drawing, BC, over the hypotenuse of the larger drawing, EF, is going to be proportional. So let's say this bottom leg right here. AC of the smaller drawing to DF of the larger drawing. Now obviously there's a lot more that we could make, but you can use these dilations or these scaled drawings to make slightly larger or slightly smaller pictures and then you can make as many proportions as you like.